channel. Today we have a very exciting video. So I didn't order a ColourPop Cosmetics and I ordered the foundation and concealer. Okay so the foundations are $12 and the concealers are $6. I'm gonna start by priming with the Photo Focus Matte Primer from Wet n Wild. I'm gonna pump one more pump. I did a pump in my hand already. So I'm gonna pump one more. It's very liquidy. I don't know. If, uh, I don't know if you guys could tell, but it's very liquidy. And I'm gonna buff this in with my Real Techniques buffing brush. Honestly, this foundation is very thin. I don't know. It's looking pretty good, actually. I really like the finish. I love, okay, I love matte foundations. I know that a lot of people don't like them and everything, but especially during the summer here, these are lifesavers. I uh, sweat a lot and very easily. So my upper lip is always sweating and um, like it's a hot mess. So I tend to go for matte foundations more than um, dewy foundations just because I know that it's going to last through the heat much better. And I like to use a hydrating, um, a hydrating primer under so that my skin is not like super dry but still has some moisture on it and then I could put a matte foundation, set it and everything and I know that I won't have dry patches on my skin. So this is half of the face with the foundation and half not. How does it look guys? I mean, it looks pretty good, honestly. And it doesn't feel very tacky. I feel like I'm gonna build it up a bit, but honestly this color matches me pretty good. This is about two pumps and a half, I want to say, of foundation. And this, okay, this foundation dries up pretty quickly. So, from what I was feeling in my face, like in my hand, so whatever I put on my hand, like it's completely dry. Like, this is dry. So, I was trying to hurry up to buff it in to get a little bit everywhere and to not leave any marks. I still have a few um, scars that it didn't cover so I could say it's medium to full coverage because it is very, it covered most of my redness and my face looks pretty even but there's still a little bit of um, like my scarring and stuff on my chin that it didn't cover but honestly it looks pretty dang good for a $12 foundation it's very light like it doesn't feel heavy on the skin which I like it doesn't feel like foundation but I feel like I would set this foundation it feels a little bit tacky so 
I'm gonna try a little bit of the concealer. I'm gonna use a little bit. I don't know if this is gonna do anything to it, honestly. I thought, let me see how the concealer looks. I feel like it's gonna be too light. Yeah, this is a little too light. I'm only gonna use a little bit under my eyes. Honestly, like it looks really good. It doesn't look as light as I thought it would look. Okay guys, I'll be right back to let you guys know what I feel about the foundation and concealer. I'm going to set my face and I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm back and it's been about 45 minutes since I applied the foundation um, and the concealer to my face and honestly, I am so pleased. Up close, my foundation, my concealer, and everything with the powder and everything. My under eyes look so good. Like, I don't know. I've never seen them look so good. Not even with like my Maybelline or my Tarte Shape Tape concealer. I love how my under eyes look. Um, that concealer is amazing. Um, the foundation is looking really good. The powders went very very nice on top um, I set my face with my Cody Airspun powder and I contoured my face with the chalk what is this the wet and wild dulce de leche um, contour palette and I did use the caffeine light zodiac palette on my eyes and the super I did use the collection the zodiac collection on the rest of my face with that being said I really really like how this foundation looks it's looking very very good I am very pleased um, I will be using this foundation and this concealer again and it matches my skin pretty damn well I don't know how good it looks on camera which I'll be looking into once I like edit this footage and everything but in person it looks really really good it matches my skin tone it matches my neck so I am so very very excited to keep um, using this foundation it's only $12 and the concealer is only $6 you guys what a steal I love the concealer I'm gonna see how it wears I will be using this foundation and concealer um a few more times and then i will update on the description box below to let you guys know how if i'm still liking it if i'm still enjoying it because it is 11 37 at night and i'm gonna take off this makeup <laughs> i am not gonna going anywhere and i am not gonna i'm not going anywhere and i am not gonna add like i'm not gonna Stay with this foundation for any more hours i'm just gonna go to bed uh, finish filming and everything and that's all but i will be using this foundation tomorrow see how it looks it feels like i'm not even wearing any foundation on my skin like that's how crazy good this feels like it feels so light yeah, I really like the concealer. I really like the shadows. I like everything. The lipstick that there's a little bit on my braces. Um, the lipsticks are very creamy. I'll, 
I am full on loving ColourPop and all the things that I reviewed today. Um, I hope you guys like this review. Let me know if you if there's any foundations that you guys want me to review um, or any uh, upcoming launches from any um, brands that you guys are interested on. I will be uh, posting more videos more constantly. I am planning to upload Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So I hope you guys come back and check out other videos in my channel. I, I do have other videos and I do have a playlist of makeup tutorials if you guys want to watch. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye!